Do you want your images to keep the same art style or the same character every single time? That's where Lauras come in. In this video, I'll show you how to find, install, and use Lauras with Z Image Turbo in Comfy UI. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you a bonus way to do this automatically inside Comfy UI. This video assumes you already have Comfy UI running either locally or on RunPod. If you don't, I have a full tutorial videos linked in the description. First, we're going to grab a LoRa from Civit AI. Go to Civit AI and click on the Models tab at the top. Then open the filters. For type, select LoRa. For the base model, choose the Z Image Turbo version you're using. After that, you can decide whether you want a character, style, or concept LoRa, depending on what you're trying to do. In this example, I'm going to pick a style LoRa called Velvet's Mythic Fantasy Styles. The process is the same no matter which LoRa you choose. Click into the model page and there are a few things you should always check. First, in the details section, make sure the model type actually says LoRa. That confirms we're downloading the right kind of file. Next, look for any trigger words the author lists. These are special words you might need to include in your prompt to fully activate the LoRa's look. Then scroll through the description. A lot of authors leave notes about recommended settings, good base resolutions, or how strong the LoRa should be. It's always worth a quick read because it can save you a ton of trial and error. Once you've checked that, scroll back up, make sure the correct Z Image Turbo version is selected in the dropdown, and click Download. Installing a LoRa in Comfy UI is actually really simple. Just take the file you downloaded from Civit AI and drop it into your LoRa folder. For most setups, that's Comfy UI folder, then Models, then the LoRa's folder. Once the file is in that folder, Comfy UI can see it, and we're ready to use it inside our workflow. Before we begin, if you want this workflow, it's available for free on my Patreon, linked below. Now let's plug this into Z Image Turbo. You can technically use any LoRa loader node, but I recommend the Power LoRa loader from the RG3 custom node pack because it makes managing multiple LoRa's easier. Here's how to wire it up. Take your load diffusion model node and plug its output into the model input on Power LoRa loader. Take your load clip node and plug its output into the clip input on Power LoRa loader. Then from Power LoRa loader, send the model and clip outputs to the rest of your Z image turbo workflow wherever your model and clip were originally connected. Once that's in place, we're ready to actually turn the LoRa on. Inside the Power LoRa Loader node, click the plus button. In the dropdown, you should see the LoRa you just put into the LoRa's folder. Select it from the list. Now we need to set the strength. This is how much influence the LoRa has over the final image. For this demo, I'm going to start with a strength of 0.8. That's strong enough that you'll clearly see the style but not so strong that it completely melts the image. In general, you can experiment anywhere between about 0.3 and 1.0, depending on the LoRa and your base model. With the LoRa selected, the strength set, and the prompt updated, go ahead and hit Run. The image that comes out is still coming from your regular Z Image Turbo workflow, but now it's being shaped by the LoRa you chose. If it looks too subtle, bump the strength up a bit. If it looks too aggressive or distorted, dial the strength down, or simplify your prompt a little. You can swap out different LoRa's using the same prompt to explore completely different looks without rebuilding your entire node graph. All right, let's do the bonus trick I mentioned at the start. If you want to pull LoRa's directly from Civit AI inside of Comfy UI without manually downloading every file, you can use a tool called Civi Comfy. First, go to your Civit AI account settings and generate your API key by selecting your profile and then the cog wheel. Scroll down to the API section and click Add API Key, name the key, and select Next. This will generate your secret key. Make sure to save it because this is the only time you will see it. Then in Comfy UI, select the Civi Comfy button and paste your API key into the field. Once that's set up, you can search for models and download them straight from Comfy UI including LoRa's, without ever leaving your workflow. It's not required to use LoRa's, but it does save time once you start collecting a lot of them. If this video helped you, please subscribe to the channel. If you want advanced workflows, downloadable files, and access to our community Discord, 
check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.